Happy Friday, y'all. Oh, yeah. What App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, and welcome to another Friday YouTube live stream where we take a look at your apps, give you critical feedback, some nice, some not so nice, and along the way, we'll be telling some jad jokes as well. Today, we're going to talk all about Reddit marketing. How do you get free traffic from Reddit? I believe in Reddit. It's a great community. We've had episodes where people have used Reddit to actually build an app, and now he's gone on to really you know, take off from that. And so I love that community. That's where I find <laughs> secret sauce. That's where I find all my dad jokes. But here we're going to talk about it. I'm working with this guy. So I'm super excited to bring him on. His name is Brian Harp. He is a, the founder of Gala. And you're going to have to check that out. It's G-A-L-A -A, Gala as well. And it is, I'll let him explain a little bit because I think he could do a better job. But in the comments below, I know there are some people here already. Hi, Andy. How you doing? And then we got Julio. What's up, brother? And then we've got Jojo. Oh, no, no, this is Bianca. And then Leonardo. You know what? What I was thinking was let's have some fun. Put in the comments your favorite ice cream flavor. So let's try that. I'll come Gotta up with be a better Ron. <laughs> Brian, welcome to the show, man. Hey, thanks for having me, Steve. So tell us a little bit about Gala, and then we'll we'll get into Reddit stuff too. Okay. So yeah, Gala is a photo and video sharing app. We tried to make it like really easy to use because we saw all the stuff that was going on with Instagram. Like we are, the problem that we're trying to solve is like mainly with um, like Instagram, we don't really like how, uh, where they're going with the app right now. They've like added reels and e-commerce and they made the app really complex. And then they've also destroyed like the reach on a lot of the users. So what we did was we made content discovery really, really easy. Uh, we saw what TikTok was doing, how with the For You page. So we decided to have something similar with a Discover page where it puts um, the right content in front of you. So that's something that we did. Um, and then also we like to, you know, we love we love Apple. So we tried to make the uh, design as simple as possible. I'm a huge fan of uh, Johnny Ive. So, you know, what we did was uh, I like his, um, it's called a Bajas uh, design. So you're going to mm -hmm. see like what we do to re the reviews of the apps today. I'm going to like try to like, you know, see find a way to like simplify all the apps as much as possible. But like I said, um, you know, this app is really uh, for, you know, small creators, not influencers and stuff like that um, to be able to grow. You know what I mean? Like we made it so you could add like links in your um, captions and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we have like categories uh, pages. So, you know, you don't have to rely on like the explore page, like on Instagram, where you have to like kind of like train the algorithm to know what you like. This, you can mm -hmm. just like, you know, choose what you what, what, what you're in the mood for. You know what I mean? If you're in the mood to see travel stuff, you can go into that category. So yeah, that's um that's kind of like the basic premise of what uh, Gala is. Um, so yeah, I'll take it back to you, you Steve. Good job. It looks beautiful. I've been actually, you know, we've been working together a little bit, and I've checked out the app, and I, I like the filters. I like the simplicity of it. So I'm definitely onto something. Let's get into this a little bit, Brian. The about Reddit. So what are some like numbers that you can share about the success that you've been able to achieve, and I, I can share some numbers that we've been able to achieve for some of our clients on Reddit too. Okay. So yeah, we got our first like two or 300 users um, off of Reddit. The problem was we started off on iOS. Um, so a good amount of our users that we got from uh, Reddit, um, they were kind of upset when I, I told them, hey, we're starting on iOS. But um, you know, so where I got my initial users from, so like I said, um, when it comes to like um, creating an app or a startup in general, you want to solve a problem, right? So that's what you have to do. Like so That's like the first thing you have to do is you got to find like, what is, what is your target audience? Who experiences this problem? And for me, like obviously, um, the the way I found out about this problem was, like I said, um, when I saw the Instagram uh, Reels update, first thing I did was I went to the Instagram Reddit, and uh, after that, I started exploring through it, and that's like, okay, all right, I think I want to do this now because like I see all the issues that are on there. You know what I mean? So what I did was, um, the first thing I, I recommend people do is, um, you know, create your own subreddit. Um, so yeah, that, that's something that's pretty easy to do. Uh, create your own subreddit and also create like a landing page. Um, so you could have people go to sign up there and also the subreddit people can join that as well That's something I wish I did a little bit sooner But um, what I initially started out doing was I started commenting on like threads So every once in a while I'll see people like complaining. Oh, you know Instagram sucks now and you can find this for like anything really I mean, whatever uh, startup um, You're doing or whatever app you're doing you'll you'll see someone complaining about it um, on a thread And you know usually that thread will actually you know a lot of people feel that way and that thread will actually like explode and you know You get like a couple hundred um, upvotes on there and stuff like that. That's like great Cause then you, you know, you comment on there. And like I said, um, they're more likely to upvote a comment than they are like a post. So it's kind of like you're taking like less of a risk when you comment. Um, you know what I mean? Reddit, there's always like a risk you'll get like downvoted into the earth. But like I said, it's kind of like um, trial and error. 
Um, you know what I mean? So yeah, I've been lucky to get my first few hundred users um, like that. Um, you know, I would direct them to uh, the website, the webpage, and I would direct it to the subreddit. Um, now some, sub some subreddits aren't actually cool with that, like um, with self-promotion. So I actually got like slapped on the wrist for that, but um, <laughs> some of them are actually okay with that. So some of them actually don't have any rules. So I don't know if we're gonna like show the uh, what a subreddit or can we show like um, can we show them what a subreddit looks like? Sure, um, yeah. Let's Here's go with Reddit. like let's let's show them I'm um, R slash Apple. So this one I actually gained like two thousand uh, users from. I actually gained like maybe wow. seven or eight hundred um, users from the subreddit, and then they invited their friends. So that's kind of like how you want to grow as like a social media is like organically. Um, so if you if you um, zoom in, Steve, toward um, like about community um, to like the rules. So you want to look at the rules. Right there. So yeah, it says self promotions allowed on Sunday. When I saw that, I was like, yes, because um, this app, this app is you know like it's for iPhone users. Um, and that's kind of like you know you kind of have to see how you want to sell the app when you um, when you post. So I have like a template for all my um, subreddits. But this one, I was like, oh, this app is for um, you know uh, Instagram, like for iPhone users who are done compromising with Instagram and want to try something new. Mm. That like you know that got me like eight hundred um, upvotes, and that's kind of like yeah, um, that did pretty well. And like I said, it's a hit or miss, and they also have to like approve. Um, your stuff, so you're kind of at the mercy of the mods here. But um, yeah, like I said, not all subreddits um, have this. Uh, but another uh, subreddit you could try is like iOS programming. The main thing you want to do though, um, you want to think about like where are your users because you could get a bunch of users, um, like I said, but you know they won't be active. Like they're not the people with the problem. You know what I mean? So yeah. what I like I said, what I noticed was a lot of photographers. So now I've been going to like just photography threads and like they let me um, self promote on like Sunday. Um, yeah, if you go to iOS programming, that's another place you can get um, users. Um, they let you post uh, one one time ever on a Saturday. Well, one time a, a year on a Saturday. Right. So down here it says uh, right. self promotion um, on Saturday. So yeah, like you just gotta look at the rules. Uh, yeah, make sure you understand the rules um, pretty well. You don't want to get yourself banned. Um, you know what I mean? Because once you get yeah. banned, you, yeah, you try to circumvent it and they'll like ban you from Reddit, which is like yeah, stay away from that. Um, try to be safe. On, on Reddit, because like I said, it's very powerful. Um, if you're just starting out with Reddit, you don't want to like go straight into like self promotion. Um, it's kind of frowned upon to just have a Reddit account for self promotion. Um, you want to have, you know, you want to like um, look at like the threads that will have the people that you are looking for in them. Um, and also, Steve, if you go to um, let's see, what's a uh, subreddit? Um, so go to go to photography, Steve. Um, this is like the one that I use a lot. Yeah. Um, Four million. Okay. Yeah. So this is a big subreddit. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit, all right, you'll see there's like a flare. Wait, like, scroll back up right under create yep. post. Um, a little bit above that, uh, community options. <laughs> if you click on community oh, options. Oh, um, I don't think this is one of those. Um, Are you seeing, you're looking for flare? Is this the flare? Yeah. yeah. No, no. There's like a flare that you can put on your, on your username. Um, go to r slash Instagram. I know they have it. Okay. I just want to reiterate, you got a few thousand users. From yeah. Reddit. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, we, you know, like I said, the main thing is you got to have people that love you. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, I think the main thing is having 100 users that love you. So it doesn't matter like how many users you get total, but Reddit's yeah. a great place to get your initial users. And like I said, um, you know, we exploded from there and like we have the amount of uh, data that we need to grow uh, further on. So if you, um, if, if you see the user flare preview, if you like, uh, you could edit it. So if you hit that, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, mark button, like you could um, create your own flare. So usually people just put their um, Instagram username here, but a lot mm. of subreddits like have like, you know, um, I think art lets you um, put like your website there. You know what I mean? Okay. So like, that's another reason why you oh. want to have like, a website. Um, that's something that I learned like yeah. later on, um, too late. <laughs> but um, like I said, like having, you know, your website there. So it's kind of like, you don't have to like spam links everywhere. If you spam links, then mods are gonna be pretty pissed. But if you like say, hey, I created this app and you know, don't don't mention the app's name or anything, like they'll mm -hmm. figure it out. They'll see your, um, your flare over there and they'll be like, okay, that's pretty cool. I'll check it out. Um, and you know, if you look at the top, um, like if um, Steve, uh, if you X out of that um, and you go to like the pin threads, so some subreddits, so it's like Friday to for, for um, Friday follow chain. Um, so that's mm. like where you self promote. Um, so you put your um, your username in there and stuff like that. Um, Interesting. If you go to r slash startups or I think r slash small business, they allow you to like um, you know. So post hey Brian, let's take a step back. I know you're giving out a lot of great subreddits, but how do you find the right subreddit? Like, how would you come up with all these things? Were you just googling, like searching on Reddit, all these different ones, or how did you come up? How did you figure out these were the reddits to actually subreddits to go after? So 
what's interesting is like um usually i'll like type in a, a question like um you know um instagram reach or something like that with reddit so you kind of just google it um your problem and, and you'll see like a bunch of like people asking questions like based on that and um like that's how i initially start with um with reddit usually i like the way i use reddit is like if i need to get a question really answer really fast i usually just like you know i say i, I call it i, I reddit it i know it sounds kind of weird like you know you google it but um you, know, you google you get a bunch of articles and if you if you do reddit then you'll get like you know fast answers um really quick and sometimes they're not always the best but it's like you know um nothing serious um with that but um the main thing is like what is your app about so i think we i saw uh, we're auditing an app about um meditation so mm -hmm. with that like you're gonna want to go for people with like stressful um like careers um you know what i mean like you, you might want to try like lawyers or something like that you got to like kind of like think outside of the box i know you probably like want to go for like yoga or something like that and like like i said um what if yoga doesn't allow self-promotion or something like that um comes up i mean you could still like you know mention hey um i created this app but you know some lawyer says that hey i'm stressed out i mean like yeah. hey, I created this app, and you know in your in your profile in your bio on reddit you can just have the app in there um as well you know what i mean because you can like edit your um your reddit uh profile pic and you can also edit your um, edit your uh, Reddit um, your bio on, on Reddit. So yeah, it's, that's another place where they can go. They can just click on your profile and like get there as well. Um, but like I said, you kind of have to like think outside of the box. So like what I would say to do is you know to find your target audience. Audience like try to create like a profile of like your ideal user. Like what do they do? Um, you know, like what like what are their interests? You know what I mean? And try to like find mm -hmm. the subreddits there. Um, you know, go for big subreddits if you can um if not you know what i mean a subreddit with like 100k users is fine because you know you get a good concentrated amount of users like um our such instagram has like a hundred thousand um users in it but our such apple has like four four million so obviously our such apple is going to do a little bit better but the ones on our slash instagram are going to be a little bit more passionate um you know what i mean because they're the ones that experience the problem you know what yeah. i mean because you know most, more than likely like if you're on the subreddit you're usually there to like complain uh you're not there, like i mean i guess every once in a while you'll see something positive about like you know a new feature like I think Instagram just added this one um, feature where they allow you to like input your gender and like, you know, like that's positive. Everyone's like cool about that. Um, but, you know, obviously people are like pissed about like the bugs and stuff like that. And, you know, like I said, they'll, they'll report that. And, you know what I mean? If your account's like actually excellently banned, um, cool. they'll report that. And like I said, that's that's how it is for like, you know, Twitter and all these other subreddits. I actually looked at like a lot of the other social media subreddits. So, you know, I'm not even going to just like punch Instagram this entire time. Like mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the uh, big tech companies have issues like YouTube, especially they're pretty, um, pretty rough. Um, so yeah, like you got to find, um, the subreddits that match your target audience. Um, and like I said, I, I think we we're talking about this before the live stream. Um, you got to find like a hundred super fans. So like I said, you get a couple thousand users, but like what really, what's really important that I learned, especially this week is to find like a hundred users that, that love the product. You know what I mean? And the reason I say that is because they'll spread it to their friends and their friends will spread it to their friends. And that's what we saw happen with Gala. You know what I mean? And now that I'm talking to like my users and stuff like that. That's something else you want to do is you want to talk to your users as well. Um, you know what I mean? To see what their your desires are. And it also just makes them feel really good. You know what I mean? Imagine that a CEO of a company is like, you know, um, messaging you. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that I'm going to do with um, Gala going forward is, hey, I'm going to be there to like welcome every single user to Gala. Uh, as much as I can, you know what I mean? Like, you know, thank you for joining. Um, you know what I mean? That's, that's something that Airbnb did. Um, they, you know, went to, uh, they went and knocked on doors in, um, in New York and stuff like that. That's what, that's what it means to do things that don't scale. I don't think we mentioned that yet. Um, and I, you know, you're going to put that in the, um, in the YouTube, uh, what is it? The YouTube caption section. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's going to be like some great articles in there that I read, um, that can help a lot. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, yeah, I got it right here. So I'll link this up in this where Master Scale Great Podcasts by. Hey, you that, um, if you scroll back up and zoom in, if you look right where it says about, uh, scroll, go back to the uh, other one. So if you, this is the best quote that I've seen. If you go to about this podcast, uh, it says Y Combinator uh, President mm -hmm. um, Sam Altman knows it's better to have a hundred users that love you um, than a million users that kind of like you. The true seed mm. of scale is love and you can't buy it, hack it or game it. A product that is deeply loved is one that can scale. Um, and then, you know, you have the transcription below. So yeah, this quote, um, like I've always heard the hundred users um, that love you uh, quote, but like, you know, obviously like I never thought, you know, a million users that kind of like you. And now I see that like you can have a million users, but like if they're not returning to the app every day, it doesn't really look yeah. that good on you. You know what I mean? It kind of just looks like your retention is like low, which is kind of like, um, 
like I said, it just doesn't really look good on you. Like if you if you get like a million users, you could buy that. Like I, I bought ads, and that's like one thing I could tell like anyone like watching this right now. Um, like you you can't buy it. Um, if you go to Facebook ads, um, you know a lot of the quality like the they were you're just gonna turn through them. You know what I mean? That's the issue. So you kind of have to like mm -hmm. figure out a way to get this to go like by word of mouth because you know I'm sure like you're not gonna start with the perfect product. You know what I mean? So sure. like I said, just uh you know you can't you can't um. You can't buy it, you can't hack it or game it. Um, I remember I was like offering, offered like 50 bucks for the first person to have like a 250 um, following count. And I feel dumb about it now because like I said, that's artificial. You want it to be yeah. real. So, you know, like I said, I'm just like giving you like the mistakes that I made over the past month that we've been on the app store. And, um, you know, like I said, I think we're on the right track now, um, you know, by talking to our users and stuff like that. Um, and like I said, well, I Ryan, let me let me cut you off a little bit, and then well, I want to get into how you're talking to your users and why it's so important. But I do want to say hi to a few other people too, and then get into some of the app audits. So Rassi, how's it going? Good to see you, Relaxomonia, and that's the one of the apps that we're going to be looking at. I forgot the person's name. I'm going to pull that up real quick <laughs> while we have on um, Relaxomonia. Tomas, I think I said that right. So let me know if I said that right, Tomas. So that's awesome. And then we've got Romaine. How's it going? Andy, Orange Sherbert. Yeah. I like, you know, I've been <laughs> vegan, so I like anything with coconut stuff. Oh, coconut. For a couple of years. What's up, Rudy? Good to see you, man. I, I got your email. I'll get back to you. Jojo, how's it going? You're on Facebook. And then Rassi, thank you. Since 17,000 subs. Trying to get to 20,000. I had 20,000 on my bathroom mirror for a very long time. It's all <laughs> wrinkled and gross now, but I'm like, holy shit, isn't it? Bizwajit, how's it going, brother? Congrats. All right, we got a question from Andy. What is the downside of Reddit? What type of feedback do you get? And what? how did you use it to make your product better? It's a great question. and leads into talking to your users as well. <laughs> okay, so the downside of Reddit is like, obviously, um, you're going to run into like people who are going to like downvote your stuff. Um, can you pull that, um, pull that question up again? I want to like answer um, each in the parts. Okay, yeah, so... Um, that's the one downside. Like, you know, you kind of like, you know, you kind of get scared when you go to post, um, you know, what are people going to say? It's not always the best. So when we started out with Gala, um, we wanted to do something different. We wanted to have like, um, like a photo logo. Um, and that's something that people just didn't like. I got ripped to shreds um, on r slash Apple. It's like half the people are saying, oh, this is a great app and stuff like that. And, you know, nice stuff. And then half the people are like, oh, what are you thinking about that logo? Um, it was controversy, um, which is, you know, kind of like what kind of like drove it up. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of like one of the downsides. You know, you always run into that, and you can also run into like you know a mod, um, you know a mod like banning you or something like that. That's another thing that could happen. Um, yeah, like there's it's there really isn't too much downside. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just like right. I said, you gotta have thick skin um, for Reddit. And then um, the type of feedback that I get. So what I like is like a, like one of the reasons I, I uh, funneled a lot of people to the uh, to my subreddit is because I could kind of like um, like if I have like a question like hey I want to know. Um, should we add this feature or not? Do people actually want this, or is there something else um, that we should do? Um, like I said, I'll, I'll do polls on Reddit. Um, so that's one thing um, that I think is Reddit's great for. And then also, like you know, in that R slash um, Apple one where I was getting ripped to shreds. Obviously, I found out that the logo wasn't good. So that's some uh, feedback that I got as well. Like, hey, people don't like this logo. It's stopping them. Like, people are like, hey, this is stopping me from sharing this app, and that's something you don't want to do. Um, you know what I mean? So. You know, like like I said, you want to grow um, like virally. And then what was um, the last question to you? Can you put that back? How, up? how have you gotten? How um, do you use okay. it to make your product better? Yeah, so yeah, like I said, that's how I uh, use it to make it um, make the product better. Is like I said, I like to um, talk to them in there. But uh, one thing I did on our app is uh, we introduced um, messaging. So like I said, I want to spend more time on my app than I would on Reddit. You know what I mean? Because obviously it's like my app. But you know, like I said, it was great to get like the initial users from there. And like you know, you get comments. Um, some of them are like you know really positive and stuff like that. And like some of them will also like you know they'll trail and they'll be like hey here's some bugs that I found or here's some uh, here's some suggestions that I have for you and stuff like that and like I said one of the suggestions that we got a lot of was aspect ratios so that's something that we're going to be changing um, this week because you know people like most of my um, users are, are photographers so we want to make the app um, better for them so you know so they can you know so they'll love it here a little bit more so like I said that's one thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be introducing more aspect ratios so that card view is going to um, be going away. Um, so yeah, they kind of like helped me shape the app, um, to where it's perfect. Um, so yeah, that's, that's something you got to look for. Um, what do your users want? And I remember I put the poll out there and which one do you like more of the cards? Cause I really like the cards. And then the other ones like the aspect ratio, I got like one vote for the aspect ratio and like 10 votes for 
Um, oh, no, I got um, one vote for the card, and then there's like ten votes for the aspect ratio, and I was like, mm -hmm. all right, this is overwhelming. You know what I mean? I have to do um, what we got to do. You know what I mean? This is like for the you know for the customer, for the user. You know what I mean? That's kind of like I kind of like to look at like Jeff Bezos, what he says about doing um, things right for the customer. You know what I mean? They cool. they know better. <laughs> they know best. That's what uh, that's what he says. And he also loves Master of Scales. Fantastic. Hundred dollars a year though. I didn't know you had to pay. The podcast is really good, though. He recently had Barack Obama on. All right. And then Andy's j loading up with the questions. What service or firm did you use for your programming development? I was looking to B7Dev per Steve recommendation, but love to hear your opinion. So who's been coding up your app? Uh, Steve, you're, um, Steve, you're going to hate this answer. But um, you're gonna need you're gonna need a uh, like you're gonna need to find like a co-founder or like a like a developer that will be able to work with you um, that'll like share the same goal as you with the app. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's like great um, like dev shops and stuff like that, but you'll find the prices are a little bit expensive. And then if you have issues, they're not really gonna be willing to do that. We have a really good engineer. I kind of I was kind of in your position too for like the last couple of months. I've been working on this since November, and um, like I said, I've been trying to hire someone since January. And you know, I ran into so many different issues. I tried to hire a freelancer. On Upwork and stuff like that, and I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I tried to hire a, a freelancer on Upwork, and then um, you know, I went through a bunch of other issues too. But like I said, they just don't really um, care that much. Hey Brian, uh, on that note, why did you? So a couple of things you said. Hey, pick. This is fine. I don't. I mean, I, I prefer truth over any like promotional stuff. But you said find a co-founder, technical co-founder. It's pretty hard. How did you go about finding your technical co-founder? Well. Like I said, I, I posted on AngelList. Um, like I said, you know, you got to have like some kind of like money to like hire them. But what what I found was like, you know, one day he just like messaged me on LinkedIn. He's like, hey, I saw your um, thing. And you know, what he liked was it, it wasn't um, like fully a uh, product yet. So he, he likes to build things. So you got to find like co-founders that like, that, that are like that, that are passionate about it. Like, you know, he would stay up till like 4 a.m. in the morning, which is ridiculous. Um, that's what I like. Um, Cause like I said, I worked with, you know, another um, guy and like he just put it off. Um, you know what I mean? You don't want that. You want someone who's going to be like focused on um, the product when you're starting out, especially. You know what I mean? I know it's kind of tough, but like I said, AngelList helps. Um, I found two co-founders um, just like that. Um, like the one guy, he saw the AngelList and he messaged me on LinkedIn. So, you know, that's something as well. Um, I think LinkedIn is really good. Uh, I'd recommend like probably, tr probably try to post a job on LinkedIn or, or reach out to uh, developers on there. Um, you know, don't be afraid to give equity um, salary. Like, you know, salaries have to be insane. They obviously know. Uh, you know, you're not going to start out with a salary. You you want to um, you know, like you want to have enough for them to like you know a living salary, <laughs> not like something that's like terrible. Like you ever watch Josh Luke on on YouTube? Like, you know, you know, like you can't pay someone like ten bucks. You, you inspect like it to be great. Um, that's what I noticed. But like I said, I'm sure dev shops um can do good as well. But um, yeah, from what I've seen. That Hey, Brian, sorry to interrupt again. Yeah. Again, I want to keep it at one hour, bro. So yeah. let's get into this first app here and then we're gonna do a dad joke battle so i like these brian and then what i've been saying is well you know we'll we'll play for some beers and we'll keep it at that okay. <laughs> and have some fun i stopped drinking too i'm not a fun guy anymore i drink oh. i still drink beer but i, I drink the 0, 0.0 non-alcoholic one so brian says he wants me to go first so i'll go first in the comments below just put s if you think my joke was better put b and then the winner of the three rounds the loser has to buy the winner some beers all right <laughs> All right, Brian, here we go. What do the Titanic and the Sixth Sense have in common? What do the Titanic and the Sixth Sense have in common? I see dead people. <laughs> Boom. Okay, okay. All right, Brian, let's, what you got? Okay. Here's a good one. Okay, why do ghosts like to haunt bars? Why do ghosts like to haunt bars? Why? Free booze. <laughs> Free booze. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I like okay. it. Okay. All right. So Romaine has this app, Learn Japanese. Great results here. 172 ratings, 4.8 rating. Really cool. Love the screenshots, quiz, practice. I love I love the first three screenshots, Romaine. Like that is on point. Learn Japanese. Tell me exactly what your app does. Give me some social proof here. You got a quiz. I love this draw practice because I'm sure that's important too. And then the stats as well. AI powered customization library. Wow. Never missed a training. Really good. Good colors yeah. too. Yeah. So good job on that. He wants help. Romain wants help on pricing and offering. So let's take a look at the app and see what we can help him out with that. I'm going to move this. 
I got his app right here. Let's see. Let's go up. It's my first time using it, Romain. So here we go. All right, welcome to learn Japanese. Love it. All good. Preparing. So might be taking a little bit. I don't know if I need to be on the internet. Maybe that's the problem. All right. Okay, cool. The internet, this office is really, really slow. As you can see, it's like, ah, come on. Okay, what do you want to help you with? I like this. You know, Brian, I always like it, especially for these type of apps, when an app asks me to input. Now, I don't want a lot of questions, but some input, because one, you know, you learn a little bit about your user, and two, it makes me committed to the app a little bit more. I'm like, man, I gave you so much info. I'm going to definitely use this app. So I can't skip out the bottom, but I'm going to sort of put this all in there. When will you study? Uh, I'm going to do in the weekends. Okay. So oh, like okay. It. Yeah, I like it's it. It's about the, uh, the user, um, like what their methods are when they like to study and stuff like that. I like that. It's cool. I think the reminders can be played up a little bit because I didn't know to tap into that. So if you want to add reminders from me, you might want to do that. What kind of quiz will you use? Go AI assistant learning. Yeah, I think so AI cool. too. <laughs> okay, love love that he's popping up. So okay. unlimited quizzes. I like it. Unlock everything. I left my job to bring this app to you. No parachute. My dream: help people around the world learn Japanese and make a living out of it. That's I like that. Okay. Learn more. Yeah, I like this. This is cool. The doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. I think everything is pretty solid. I don't know what I can offer for you. I think the only thing that I would, tr yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. I, I'll play around with the pricing, but everything else looks good. What do you think, Brian? You got any feedback? Yeah, I, I want to go into the app a little bit, but um, I know we got to go through that free trial. But yeah, I like how you asked only three questions. I think that's ideal, just three questions. Um, so what are the, the three most important ones? I think you nailed it right on the head. So, yeah. Romain, in the comments, please let me know like where are most people signing up? That would be interesting for me. And then I don't see anything rem like too big in terms of like what's wrong with this. I think everything else looks good. The only thing I might add on this might... You know, like the only thing I might say to you is I really like Super Mama and they've come on and showed that things where they have the social proof. So though the thing that I would add here that might make a difference is maybe combining your social proof and your pricing on one page. I got some feedback to Brian's point about really talking to your users. I did this video about a live reaction on user testing and m nobody ever went to learn more and saw the pricing. So I think I'm leaning towards what super mama did. Ooh, that's not it. Where I think this is the right approach these days here. Let me pull up my, this where, you know, he's gone on to 12 X his revenue based on some of the, the feedback that we gave and following the channel. But I like how it's like this. Romain. So it's like, I see the pricing, I see all the stuff, add the social proof, which you already have in your screenshots, definitely regurgitate that, do this, put some success stories. I think that's very valuable for you, especially from people who want to learn Japanese. So that's what I might add on, but I think overall it looks pretty good to me. The only difference I would try to test is that pricing page. Let's see what he's saying. Okay. I noticed most signups at onboarding or weeks after first launch. Okay. Consider mini tutorial on board instead of, yeah, well, I think that's okay. But okay, that's good to know. All right, go ahead, Brian. What happens if you uh, tap the X up there real quick? I want to see what happens. Oh, okay. It does let us go in there. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. You can, use, you can use the app without it. So you can go pro. I like that in here. Yeah. Okay. And so then, kind of just from a usability standpoint, I don't know what this flex SRS means. I'm yeah. not trying to learn Japanese, but it's a little <laughs> bit confusing to me what that means. Add flashcards. Okay, I like how you added that little um, note there. I just don't know where, like this This page seems a bit busy to me, Romain, where I don't know where to go. I don't know how to start practicing. You know what I mean? Like, I think there's just so many buttons that if you just said, like, free draw was at the bottom, and then here's some, like, flashcards, and I can get into that. 
that might be more interesting. So let's let's plug around here. Maybe have more tabs at the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can have like everything. So like, yeah, you know yeah, how, like, like, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, you know how like the uh, if you if you go to like one of the Apple apps or even like you know Instagram or something like that, you go to the bottom. You have like the tab for home and explore and stuff like that. I mean, you could mm -hmm. have like maybe two or three tabs. You don't need to have like five, obviously, but you know, you could have like a tab for training, and exploring, and you know, that way you could fit more stuff in inside of each of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, agreed. I think maybe like a little more interesting. I think that the tabs are probably more interesting because I have no idea where to go right now. Like yeah. my Chevy smart quiz, custom quiz. It's just too many options. It's just, I'm expecting the flash card, especially like think about my journey here. I came to your app. I looked at this practice, draw quiz, statistics, AI powered, you know, you have all these things. So I don't know where to go. So you might want to, yeah, got told home is confusing. Okay, good. So he's talking to his users. It is confusing. So what I would do, Romain, is look at your reviews, talk to your customers, like Ryan kind of mentioned, talk about like, what do they like the most of your app and just make that the primary thing that I can do on this homepage. It's just right now, I have no idea what to do. So I'm a little confused. And I think that's what's bought causing it. Cause let's say I didn't sign up for the pro, but I definitely want to later on. And then here's a, another way of like locking different things that are in the pro version. But again, I'm not, you're not taking me to the next step. What is the next step that you want me to go into? Definitely explain what a flex S SRS is like, have like a little like box up there that says, uh, yeah. this is, for, you know, that you know what I mean? Yeah. Hope that, and then from the pricing perspective, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like it looks pretty darn good. It's, yeah. I just think that super mama is the way to go. I think they've done a really good job. It's very much the same that I've been talking about. It's just, I think the pricing page belongs on the same page rather than double tap. But then again, I have no data to back this up. So that's just my opinion right now. But overall, it looks pretty darn good. Yearly, one week free. Seems like a great offer too. So, all right. Yeah, that's it. Hope that was helpful, man. Users, so. yeah. And if you guys want to get your app audited, let me change some things here. Just go to appmasters.com slash audit. And if you had some success, like Bart did, he emailed me. Email me, let me know. We'll have you back on and we'll share some before and afters as well. Hey, Brian, one of the things I wanted to get into as well was, you know, we just talked about Facebook last week and use it, utilizing, I think it was last week or two weeks ago, can't even remember anymore, but using Facebook groups and how this phishing app was able to really drive a lot of good downloads, conversions, and utilize Facebook for some of his ad content too, ad creation content. Why did you decide on Reddit versus like something like Facebook? So when it comes to like ads and stuff like that, well, first of all, I, I looked at the Facebook groups and stuff like that. And a lot of them were against like self-promotion. So that was kind of like out of the question, but with Reddit, um, there's something about it, like the anonymity and stuff like that. It's like someone real is like telling you to go look at this and not some brand or some bot you know what I mean? Cause you end up with a lot of bots on uh, Facebook. You know what I mean? Like they can actually like, they, it's some, it's weird, but they can actually like take over like people's like real accounts. Um, like people, I think they sell their like accounts and stuff like that. And that's why you'll see like people that look like official people talking about stuff like Bitcoin and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I haven't really looked too much into like the Facebook groups. Um, just because like I said, um, this self promotion, um, that's an issue. And you know, when it comes to me, like I'm looking for photographers and what they're posting in their, in their groups is just photography. So it'd be weird to just have like someone, you know, and I just really like Reddit. Um, that's just like how I've always been like, you know, like I said, that anonymity um, helps out a lot. <laughs> uh, it turns out the nerves. I'm a little bit of a, you know, introvert. Um, so that kind of helps. Just one out of, out of curiosity, like, do you think if you've found success on Facebook and you have found success on Reddit, would you stick to that one channel, kind of really explore it, really, you know, double down on it? Or do you think you should start exploring other channels? Um, I would say perfect. Like maybe you, maybe one channel first um, when you're starting out. So right now I'm at the Reddit stage. Uh, I tried Twitter as well. Um, so find the channel that really works the best. And here's like one thing I could tell you, um, have like um, like a link, like an affiliate kind of uh, affiliate kind of style kind of link so you know um, where the users are coming from. So yeah, double down on the one um, on the link that, you know, double down the platform that the link uh, brings the most users from. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's where you want to spend your time as a CEO, just like, Kind of like um, see where your time is best spent. All right, I like it. All right, next app, we got Tomas's app. 
relaxomania monia relaxomania yeah. all right Romania. before we do hey, let, let's go into the battle what happened let's see oh my goodness you guys are such traitors b b <laughs> like so much more all right brian is winning one to zero all right brian since you're winning, you go first this time Okay, um, this was probably gonna be really bad, but um, I was wondering why music was coming from my printer, and apparently it was jamming. Or the paper was jamming, <laughs> so that was the joke. <laughs> All right, I like that one. All right, I'm gonna go to one of my favorites that I, I found this week. Brian, what is Brittany? I mean Brittany. What is Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination? Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination is. Hand eye. <laughs> Boom. Oh, hand eye. <laughs> That's all, right. all right, guys, put in the comments. Let me see if I tied it up right now. Come on, let's make it you interesting. It don't let don't let Brian sweep me and shut me out. Okay, let's get into Thomas. Thomas. Thomas is at Relaxomania. Thomas. This reminds me, Thomas, of Relax Melodies a lot. But let's get into it. So let me know if I caught that into this. All right, it looks like it's pretty new. Got three reviews. What does he need help with? I'm like going blind here. Okay, dear app masters, let me just look at it real quick. Uh, musician and a software engineer. So Tomas is a musician and a software engineer from Hungary. This is his first mobile app, and I'd like you to just give me focus. Okay, focus on usability. All right, congrats. Thomas, because first mobile app looks really, really good from what I can see. I think the ASO, because you're brand new, go after lower competition keywords, sleep, meditate, super high competition. You're just not going to get anywhere with those type of terms because this is the most valuable from an ASO perspective. And then this is very valuable. I know focus and concentration are probably pretty in competition as well. So Go after different ones. There are some other ones. I've done the Moonlight stuff. You, we've got a very similar app as yours, and that's where you can see my ASO and some of the keywords I'm going after. The font on the um, on the screenshots, I think you should uh, work a little bit with it. Uh, maybe make it a little bit more bold. Maybe try a different font, because I feel like um, I want my like eyes to attract to it. You know what I mean? So I understand like yeah. what's going on on the screen. Maybe make the uh, melodies like a little bit more bold than the rest of it and create as well. Maybe just like mm -hmm. have one for each, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, they look really Yeah, good. I like bold text, like here, Galas, yeah, I did for discover right in your face. So, so yeah, I like I like big bold text too. All right, so definitely take a look at that and let's take a look at the app. So, because that's what you want more help with is that, like I got the app right here. Boom, wanna make sure, Relaxomania. Is it Relaxomania? Okay. <laughs> oh wow! In create instant personal composition. Oh, I love oh, that. Okay. This is amazing. Oh, this is awesome. You can oh, tell a musician wow. did it. Okay, and it's probably playing, but you know what? The audio is not coming through. Yeah. Oh. Position. That is too. sick. That is sick. Hey, come on! Give, me, give us more <laughs> votes on the this. joke stuff. Sorry, Brian. What, what were you saying? I was like, I'm actually download this. This actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really, really good. He should do like a preview video. Like that would probably help out a lot. You know what I mean? It might be in there, but I will I will double check. Yes. Yeah. And guys, come on, put put more votes on the jokes, please. I beg you. Delete a sound by dragging it outside. Cool. Oh, oh nice. Good. And I'll leave that in there. So for now, continue. Okay, my library. Next. Nice. You know what would be interesting, Thomas, is you have this sound, great. But like of the popular sounds, maybe show the three that are was already in there. So like, you know, if you look at the ASO, rain sounds is pretty popular, ocean sounds, fire, people actually search for that stuff. So maybe have the first three in there just so I can drag, because I really like this dragging feature. So maybe have them hover, I think, in my opinion, I would have them hovering right here because I miss it now. Oh, I don't even have them. So maybe give us three options again so that we can have them hovering and then I can still add more if I wanted to. Oh, love this. What is this? Oh, record? Okay. Didn't know about that. Maybe Stop put that. the record button on the uh, wheel, on the bottom wheel there. It's like something should go up there in that top. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, he's going. So it's lifetime access, and then you can pick whatever lifetime access you want to give. So again, I don't mind that. I think that's cool. But at the same time, you're hiding the lifetime access. You should have shown it. I already fell in love with it, right? I fell in love with it. I loved all the moving around. Show the lifetime. Get me to buy it right away because I think you already have me in love with this app already. Again, I got to go back to it. And I think you're hiding it too much. Look, it's way at the bottom. Let me try sleep. Yeah, you're you're hiding it a little bit too. Because I'm trying to change if anything. You're just hiding it too much, Thomas. So like, look, it's this is beautiful. I don't know where you would want to put it, but maybe I'm thinking up top on the right hand corner, or maybe the left hand corner, or even this thing, or even right here, go premium, you know, type of thing. I don't know exactly what I get with going premium. Let me take a look at that. Everything that only oh, access to our video page. Yeah, you put like the the text is too blocky. Like you want to have it like yeah. spread. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is hard to read. It reads yeah. more like a book rather than like a sales page. So definitely take that out. Of this right. I think those two fixes. Look, the about ninety percent of your in-app purchases are going to come from two areas. I should probably do it this way because I know in other countries it means something else. But two areas. One, your welcome flow. So you had me in love, Thomas, in the welcome flow. Show me that pricing page. Redo that pricing page a little bit to make it more readable. And then two, your main page right here. So by adding just those, you should be a great case study. And you, I'm sure you'll email me in a couple of months after all that's changed. And we can share some data on like how you've 10 extra revenues and so forth. So. Steve, what, what, he, what he just showed, like how the app works, and then he puts the uh, pay page. That you're, that's what you're telling him. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. And my last recommendation is like have some of these more popular sounds that you already know. Put them in the three. I love the drag. Now I don't get the drag anymore. Like it sucks. Like it was so cool, but now like the drag is gone. Like it just goes away, and I have to add it. And then when I do add it, it just goes in by my by itself. Versus me being able to drag it. What would be fun is like I get to pick five of my favorites and then I could drag. And then maybe you can lock it so that I can only drag like two sounds, but I can't drag five sounds. Because you have a lot of room here where I can sort of drag. You can even make this big circle a little bit smaller, but I maybe give me the five. And so that shows me some of like this is a lock sign or this first th last three are locked so that I'm like, oh, okay, I can only do two sounds. And then you show me five and I can always add more. And replace some but you know you show me the five that i really like so please have a look in the library okay what, what, what library are this oh i see okay let's go with this okay now, i can't hear it but i'm gonna definitely check this app out later on some of this but okay looks good again you're giving away so much like what's free and what's paid you're not asking me to pay for anything you're just giving oh looks like there's some paid right here see okay. i saw this in another person's app i just don't like it it's very hard to see what's free and what's paid make it so visible locked they go put a big fat lock sign right here it's locked and then i like to see i like to have like there's one two three four five six seven the eighth one, Thomas, is the locked one. Like, how many people are getting down there? Like, make the first two or one locked, and then just lock the rest. Who gives a crap? Like, you want you're giving away a lot of great content. You built a beautiful app. People have to pay for you for it, right? So make the rest locked. Don't be afraid to charge. All right. Anything else you want me to look at? Anything else you you want to add on, Brian? I know I dominated um, that conversation a little bit. No, I actually I see where um what he did with the uh, top. Uh, thing where you put the timer on there so okay yeah that's fine if you leave it there cool. but yeah I, I agree with you um, with everything you said let's get into the results you ready for this okay all right fingers crossed jojo brian okay that's one <laughs> s this time now but only um, because brian messed up his joke all right rudy's like one like, on. delivery yes the competition's high looks cool brian two 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 Brian was going to win, but the delivery failed. Oh my goodness, man, I would have been. I know, I said it too fast. Uh, <laughs> All right, you have to even these things out. Awesome, this is good. Okay, 
Let's get into our last app, Brian. Anything else that I might have missed on the Reddit angle? I, actually, there's a couple of things that I wanted to share on my end. And Brian, we were able to, so for one of our clients, we we're able to drive over 1,200 now. It's growing, 1,200 oh, yeah. signups. And this is just one thread, one everything. So a couple of things that we, you kind of mentioned in sort of the outline that we prepared for this. There's this subreddit called Free Karma For You. And mm -hmm. I, I'm a part of this. So if you're brand new to Reddit, you want to really try to utilize it, go into this, post a few memes here and there. You get, <laughs> you're trying to build the karma, right? And so you can upvote, come in these things and just upvote these things for others, comment on it, people upvote. So it start bu starts building up your karma. And then the two things, what I've been also doing is there's this thing that Rudy, you're just on this app hookup, but it's called app hookup. And this is sort of like the app advice campaign that I've been talking about where you have to make something free. Now it generally works better for paid apps going free, but if you do have a free in app purchase, it, it has worked. Sometimes it gets removed, but it has worked for us. We just posted something last week, a few weeks ago about it. The other thing that I try to do as well is I go to app advice, right? Apps gone free. And I find certain apps that are, and then I just post it for them because what I'm trying to do also is before I want to post about my own app or our clients apps, I want to build up a little bit of karma. So I try to find some big cool apps on app advice. And then I just post it on here. There's a, you have to follow some schema that they have. And then I just post it on there. And so I'm building up a little bit of karma. And the last one I will mention for you guys, and this works for web stuff too. Whoops e-freebies so just like you brian i was like oh reddit i want to try it and so i knew of app hookup already because i've heard good things from other people who've done it but i was i started googling a bunch of crap for reddit stuff and then i found this one so this is where we posted for a couple of different clients and both were extremely happy so one drove 1200 one it's just starting out and he drove like just a handful so like 25 plus we got a lot of good downloads, but like 25 actually activated the, his promo promotion. And he's extremely happy about that because we're just, again, in the beginning. So really trying to understand, but e freebies, and you can take them to the online version. So if you are, you have an app that people can subscribe or get certain things online. That's what we did for one of our clients. We sent them to a link online and we drove, you know, all these signups, 1200 signups through there. And then he can monetize any other way outside of the app stores if he really wanted to. So e freebies is one of my favorites. And I, you know, don't be afraid to like post a joke every once in a while. Like people will like upvote your comment. <laughs> actually like, you know, cause I got like, you know, I have comments that have like 300 upvotes just for saying something that's like, that's ridiculous. That's funny. You know what? I should do that. That's a great <laughs> tip actually. I'm going to just put something on at, on slash Apple. I have a little meme that did pretty well on Instagram. Okay. So we're tied up. Let's see. Um, see, um, one more thing um, that I wanted to say yeah. um, on that is like, there was, um, I actually read a subreddit, um, like uh, a post on uh, Reddit. This guy posted on r slash movies that has like 18 million um, mm -hmm. people that are on it, like active on it. And he got like, what, 8,000 upvotes and he got like 13,000 um, downloads from that. You know what I mean? So one thing you want to want to look at is like how many people are on each uh, subreddit. Try to find like mm -hmm. big subreddits that allow you to, that don't have anything against it. And um, I'll include, I'll actually like, Steve, I'll, I'm going to send you. Um, this guy's like post so that you can okay. include it there because he actually gave a lot of great advice as well. Um, stuff that I, I probably won't get enough time to like touch on because um, sure. like, it, it goes really deep into things. So I'll, I'll, um, I'll send that in the chat so you can uh, plug it in there. But oh, um, yeah, it's a good um, app. So, yeah, yeah, this is, look at this, 25 million. And then if you got a movie related app, you know, it could seamlessly fit in here. And you know what I like about these type of things too, Brian, is like most people aren't talking about apps, they're talking about movies. So if like, the, and they love movies. So if they see yeah. something that's different, yeah. I'm really a big fan of Reddit. Like I really like it a lot. Make sure, um, yeah, make sure the title is like very eye-catching too. Um, yeah. You have to post a couple of times to get it right. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't be afraid um, to repost if nobody, if you get one or two upvotes or why not. If someone uh, like downvotes you like right away, it kind of like sucks because that, there goes all your like momentum. Um, so you want to make sure that the first uh, person up, is an upvote. Um, and also before we go on, um, I want to give a, up at like a couple of subreddits that people can um, use. So if you need like ideas or feedbacks, so there's a subreddit called r slash app ideas where you go to startup ideas. Um, if your app's in beta, you can check out alpha and beta testers. So, you know, like test flight, we had issues with test flight, like people are like scared to like use it. So these people, they're going to understand, um, you know, 
uh, that your app is, you know, obviously in beta testing. And then obviously once you're done uh, posting, there's um, something called r slash side project. So say you made this app yourself or any, anyone could post, there's no rules really. But um, yeah, you could go to r slash uh, side projects. And if you need a co uh, co-founder, like we talked about this earlier, you can go to r slash co-founder. Uh, that's pretty good too. Um, I see okay. like good um, apps on there all the time. So yeah. I'll link, up, link those up in the description as well. We'll put some time stops on it. I like that. Thank you for that. No problem. Okay, let's get into the last app. And we actually, I actually got to talk to it, to Morgan as well. So we did, we did an app, app audit together, just Morgan and I. So he's doing pretty well. Like here's the app and we'll go into some of the things. The last thing I want to do, we got it before we get into Morgan's app is the showdown. All right, Brian, this is going to determine the winner. All right, so I'll go first. All right, I seem to find a way of sneaking chocolate into movie theaters. I always have a few Twix up my sleeve. <laughs> Boom. All right, Ryan, this is a showdown. All right, who's going to owe whom a beer? What okay, you got? Okay. Um, did you hear about the ghost shark? Ghost shark? No. What, what about him? It vanished into thin air. <laughs> thin air. I like it. God. All right, guys. <laughs> You guys determine the winner. Either I'm owing Brian a beer or he's owing me a beer and we'll figure that out. All right, Morgan <laughs> says, how to improve, let me, man, I'm going blind here. How to improve our app store listing to rank higher on searches. Okay, he wants to improve, great, Morgan. He wants to improve his ASO and really rank higher for this. Okay, here we go. So it looks like Morgan's in Canada because his default link was the CA. So it's like, all right, cool. The other thing I want to say is, so Morgan, the the thing that you got to focus on is the title, which I think this is a better title now. I think I know where you're going after. Timesheets a pretty good one. The app is just employee tra trap, employee timesheets. You know, schedule on the clock type of stuff. Messaging, I like it. Clock in with GPS. So I like all that stuff on the clock. Think about like maybe clocking in, punch time. Those are the keywords that I might be going after two and then if it's primarily in english and you don't have it in french there's a french canadian i don't know what the app store listing is but there's a just like the us has spanish mexico that indexes the us local the us app store canada has the same thing and it's french canadian if your app is only in english you can utilize that it's the same way you use the spanish mexico so put everything in english in there and you can sort of double the amount of keywords you're going after in canada and let's check out what you have in the US. The other thing I want to mention is, you know, different countries have different scores. And usually what I found is non-US countries tend to have traffic all heavily weighted on the head terms. So the like maybe it's timesheet. And the the longer phrase is one where the US might be like on the clock time calculator. They just don't have that much volume in non-US countries, is what I found. So let's see what you have in the Mexico localization. Okay, but this is great. So, okay. sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I just, I was reading it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and I like what you did here, Morgan. We may have talked about this during our call, but anyways, the, you, he lost the, he lost the branding because, you know, with Spanish Mexico, if you obviously it might not be, no, I shouldn't say obvious, but it might not be a huge focus for him. And so he lost the branding there and really went after the keywords that he wanted to target. And then he put timesheet tracker here. I don't think you need another timesheet tracker. You have timesheet in the US localization. You don't need it here. And everything else looks really good. Paycheck calculator, love it. But if you're just starting out, what I always try to recommend is try to find those keywords that have good, decent traffic, anywhere from, I would say, like 30 and up and lower competition. Even 20 might be good in the very beginning because you just want those initial downloads, like Brian alluded to. You want those first 100 users who love your app are going to be very specific to it and with the yeah. screenshots um i would play around like maybe use like a couple of different colors in there to make the app look like to stand out a little bit more you know what mm -hmm. i mean like just blue all around i know it's like part of the branding but i feel like if you try like more colors it would make the app seem a little bit more fun i know it's a i know it's a employee uh, timesheet app but you know i think this would help it stick out more um you know what i mean I yeah that makes sense. the last thing i would say is and this is touched on we talked about this with a podcast episode that's about to be released in a month or so we've got a lot in the tank but the 
he was talking about like early metrics that you should focus on, Brian, especially when in the beginning. And if you have, he's like, all right, one is your conversion rate. Like how many people are buying your subscriptions? And then secondly, he's like the, I forgot what the term was, but essentially like, what do you, what are people doing in the app? And what are the three metrics that you want to focus on? So for you, Morgan, it could be like, are they adding employees? All right. Are they clocking in? So whatever those three things are, and maybe for Gala, it's like, how many people are posting? So what are the yeah. in-app interactions that you are trying to measure and really focus on those metrics too, yeah. and not just yeah. always downloads, because I have to think that you have some downloads already, Morgan. That's like one thing that we were like looking at, like we have like collections, like we have a collection feature and like I wanted to mm -hmm. know like, how often are people like using this feature? You know what I mean? Would they prefer us to have bookmarking and stuff like that? So like kind of yeah. like this will also help you um, improve your app to see like, because they're not going to outright come out and tell you like, hey, I don't use this. Like it's better to just see on the numbers, like how often are people using this feature here? And like how often are people posting videos versus photos? I mean, you can also look at the app as well, but there's some things that you just can't see. You know what I mean? What are you using to track all those? Is it just Firebase or what are you, what are you using? Firebase, okay. Yeah, cool. um, there's other SDKs you could put in there that could also help as well, but you know, Firebase has a trick. <laughs> Brian, you ready for the score? Yeah. You may or may not like this. Let's no. See. Julio, Steve, <laughs> Jojo, no. Steve. Can Steve make a comeback? Powell go go shark. Shark yes. for the win. And last one, is Brian going to tie or will Steve take it home? Unless uh, there's more votes coming in. We got Rudy, uh, Steve. Because I didn't get the other yeah. joke. It was Finn. In. He's vanished in thin air. Finn. <laughs> I got you, Bear. No worries. <laughs> All right. The app is Gala. Go check it out. It is in just iOS right now, right, Brian? Yeah, and, okay. and if you guys need any um, advice or anything, just don't be afraid to message me on there. I'm actually just Brian on the app, so nice. yeah, feel free to message me. Yeah, go check out the app. I have it pulled up right here, so go check out the app. It's beautifully, it's well done, man. Congrats on everything. It's super well done in terms of just the UI, the UX. I love the mission that you guys are on, and I love just finding the different photos because you're trying to make it literally different from what Instagram is really yeah. trying to do. It's like we're, not just we're meaning, not like motivational quotes, but like really cool photos like this that you see here. Yeah. And um, like I said, you know, we're, we're playing around with it. Um, you know what I mean? We know the future of the app store, like where things are going, like we've noticed um, different trends. So we're playing around with it. Um, yeah. So yeah. Awesome. Cool. So Gala, go check it out. Just search for Gala, number one in the app store when you search for Gala. And then, you know, Brian will have you back on and share some more success with you as well. All right. I want to say bye. Before we say bye, I want to say a few things. Let's see. Rassi says, awesome stream today. Thanks, Rassi. Reddit, here we come. Go get yeah. it, man. Let me know uh, what happens on there. Oh. It's really good, right? I'm always looking for different growth hacks, Brian. Like app advice. I love that growth hack. Leads to thousands of downloads. I'm always looking for different growth hacks like that. And I think, you know, like you and I were texting back and forth and we're like, dude, I love Reddit too. Let's, let's exchange some notes. And so, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. probably put a video together all about some of the things to a more like cohesive video than just yeah. a brain spill like Brian and I just did right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to make a video on it too. Maybe I'll make a post on um, R slash startups or something. Um, yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. This so. is fun, dude. All right, let's see. Cheers, guys. Rudy, have a great weekend, brother. And then Pirate Girl One Two Three. I just joined first time from Berlin. Thank you, Steve and Brian. Awesome. Good to hear. You. Good to see you, Pirate Girl. Is, okay. there, is there a joke there that we can do? The pirate girl? Uh, I feel like I feel like there is. So I, I feel like we have to make a joke about the Bucks, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just from Berlin. Never argue with a pirate girl? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Again, guys, <laughs> the app is Gala. Go check it out. Brian, if the audience wants to connect with you and say thank you so much for coming on, do you want to send them anywhere else besides Gala the app? Um, yeah, you can um, try me on, uh, I think you like me on LinkedIn. So you can try me on LinkedIn or you could try me um, on, you could try me on uh, like maybe Instagram or maybe Twitter. Cool. Um, so yeah, my, my username is like the Hari Pashad. You can um, put it in the notes um, as well. All right. Okay. And then Andy says, either of you active on Twitter? Not super active. Andy, I, what about um, you, Brian? I'm sorry to get active. Uh, I just post like, you know, motivational posts, but what I've been using Twitter for, um, this is going to be like a whole other thing. Um, you could kind of like Google search your stuff. So I've been typing in like, oh, Instagram sucks. And I've just been like messaging people like that. So it's kind of yeah, like, it kind of works like Google. So we're going to talk about that later on. But um, yeah, I'm starting to get active on Twitter. I used to be when I was a kid and now I'm back on it. 
So yeah. yeah. Okay. I like that. William says, thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, William. Thanks, Jojo. And then Pirate Girl. Yeah. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I've been fascinated about stand up paddleboarding. My wife and I went last weekend. We're going to go again this weekend because I'm like obsessed. Yeah. So we're going to do that again. I'm pretty obsessed. I was obsessed with pickleball. I'm still obsessed somewhat. It's coming down, but stand up paddleboarding, really like it. So I'll be doing that this weekend. Brian, thank you so much for coming on and doing this, man. Thanks for having me, Steve. Thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. And we'll see you next week where we're going to talk about, let me pull that up real quick just so you guys know who's going to be on next week. Uh, I should have done a better job. Okay, we're gonna talk about, to jo Jojo, Johanna, who's in London. She's French, but she's in London. We're gonna talk all about mobile games. And she's been really focused more on the African and Middle East markets. So we're gonna talk about that and mobile games. Really great. We had her on the podcast and I had her say, please, I begged her to please come on the YouTube live stream. So we're gonna take a look at, if you got mobile games, make sure you fill out that form, appmasters.com slash audit, because that's the focus for next week. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I will see you next week, same time. See ya. Bye.